Good morning, everyone. It is almost 7 a.m. It is day six, I think, of NaNoWriMo, and I hit my 10,000 word goal last night, and I feel so much better today than I have for the last few days, just in terms of not being tired, not feeling overwhelmed by things now that Halloween and my birthday and just all of that is officially behind me. I feel pretty recovered from it. And I just want to write as much as possible now and at work. And I think what I'm going to try to focus on is once I hit my 2000 word count for the day, I think that's when I'm pretty tapped out of my story. However, I am constantly referencing my Preptober notebook where I'm basically kind of like zero drafting or very, very roughly writing out, like going through the chapters and the plot points of this book. However, <laughs> I haven't even made it a full like third of the way through my book in my Preptober notebook, assuming that I have the time and the energy, focus on writing out more ideas because it is so useful and has helped me so much. And I feel like this draft, although not perfect, is fairly clean. So I want to keep it that way. I want to write in my Preptober notebook. I want to get my words on the page. So let's get started. All right, so we're finishing up the half hour at a smooth 10,000. 668 words. I'm obviously getting ready to leave and I will take you guys with me. Let's have a good writing day. Since I'm not doing any reading vlogs at the moment, I figured I'd update you on some of that. So I just started part two of The Last Argument of Kings, which is the third and final book in the first law trilogy by Joe Amber Crombie. And it's amazing. And I'm really happy that this audiobook is really long. It's like 27 hours. So I'm like hour 14. And honestly, it could just keep on going. I don't want it to end. And I am also slowly but surely making my way through Nevernight, which I really like. It's a strange book to read. The format is very, very different. Not something I've really experienced before where there's like these jumps in time. The narrator is its own distinct third party character that also has their own notes on the history and the world and the situation at large. It's, it's very interesting. Definitely without giving away any spoilers, let me know how you feel about that book and that series down in the comments below if you've read it. So my goal whenever I'm at work is just to try to get as much done as early in the day as possible. It makes it so much easier on me and I just have a lot more energy in the morning. I am highly caffeinated. I am ready to work. So let's see what can be accomplished. everyone just wanted to pop in for the evening so I hit my word count goal of the day for 1200 and then I'm going to be spending some of the evening working on my preptober notebook and trying to write out some more future scenes and just kind of do a brain dump of that because like I've said in previous videos that really helps me out but what I really wanted to talk to you about why I wanted more of a sit down video for you guys is because <sighs> So I'm realizing with this NaNoWriMo thing, I've been getting up really early and only been able to write for about a half hour before I go to work, which is extremely helpful. But once I'm at work, even though I am lucky enough that I can totally write while I'm there, the time is unpredictable. And once I hit 1 p.m. or later, my motivation and just my wits not nearly as good as they are earlier on in the morning. However, 
I have been struggling to sit down and write at a decent time. I would love to give myself an hour, and in theory I have plenty of time, but I take a lot of time in the morning to just like get ready and wake up. I like to take the time to drink my coffee, walk my dogs, do my hair and makeup, pick out my outfits. It's just something that's very luxurious and relaxing and gives me a second to actually wake up. That's when I watch the most YouTube or listen to my audiobook. And by the time I'm at work, I just feel super awake. So anyway, that's my morning routine. And thus far, despite the fact that I'm waking up at 5 a.m., I only have that half hour period period to write slash film for you guys, which takes up time as well. So I want to propose a challenge to myself, which is to get ready faster so I can have an hour to write in the morning because in that half hour, I usually get out between five to 600 words. But once I'm at work, especially when I get past that 1 p.m. mark, it usually takes me two hours to get the other 1500 when it shouldn't take that long, or at least I know it wouldn't take that long in the morning. Part of it is maybe the time crunch, like knowing that I have to stop at 7.30 so I can get going to work. I just feel like I could get way more of my words down in the morning, a significantly higher percentage of it. I just need to get my ass into gear earlier on, which is not the easiest thing for me to do. That's not what I enjoy doing. But what I really don't enjoy is feeling that lull and feeling really slow and feeling really... I just feel like I'm not giving this draft my its best attention either. Like, yes, the goal is to get 50k words down by the end of the month, but I want those words to be decent. Of course, I'm going to have to go back and edit, but like I've said through previous videos, my first book because I did not plan it and I have had to edit and edit and edit it. Like I'm on my eighth or ninth time re-editing this book, which is fine. That's the journey it's had to take, but I would love to only edit this book two or three times. And so to do that, even though like this NaNoWriMo is really crazy and I'm definitely focusing on word count, I want it to be quality words. And I feel like I have a better chance of getting better quality words down and getting them down faster and cleaner early in the morning than I'm able to do so in the afternoon. And I think that also will make it easier on me when it comes to these videos and editing. So. Anyway, that's all I have to say for the evening. I hope you guys are also doing well with your NaNoWriMo. And just so you know, I am reading every single comment that you guys are leaving for me. I've been really bad about even just hearting them. And that's just because I'm busy. <laughs> I'm really busy right now. But I do plan on going back and still replying to you guys. I'm trying to find the time to do that. It probably won't be until the weekends. But I see every single comment. It is so motivating and encouraging for me. And I hope this channel is for you guys. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy writing.